Dr. Hine, and welcome to the Math Bunker. Today we're asked to find the measure of an angle indicated in bold, and so we're going to find what the measure is of 12x minus 6. They're both corresponding angles, so we know they're both equal to each other. What we're going to do first is solve for x, and then we're going to plug it back into 12x minus 6 to get the answer. And so I'm going to write this down. One angle is 12x minus 6, and the other one is... 10x minus 10, okay? So now the first thing I'm going to do is I want the x's on one side of the equal sign and the numbers on the other side. I like to move the smaller x over so I'll never have to divide out a negative 1. So uh, 10x is smaller than 12x. I'm going to move it over to the left. So x is one way, numbers the other. So I already started doing that. So the opposite of positive 10x is negative 10x. And so 10x, 10x will be going on the right side. Whatever you do on the left side of the equal sign, you must do the same thing on the right side of the equal sign. Because I subtracted 10x on the left side, I must subtract 10x on the right side. I'll match, match them up, x's with x's. So 12x minus 10x leaves me with 2x. Now because I move the x's to the left side of the equal sign, I must move the numbers to the right side. So I'm going to move negative 6 over to the right side of the equal sign. The opposite of negative 6 is positive 6, and it's gone on the left side. But I must add 6 to the right side. So 10 plus 6 is 16. Last step to do, divide 16 by the coefficient of x, or divide 16 by the number in front of the x, or divide both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1x. 16 divided by 2, or half of 16, is 8. Now, I know at this point that x equals 8. Let me go back to the, to the uh, angles. Let me go back to the angles. There we go. The angles, the one is in bold. It really doesn't matter. x will work in both equations because they're corresponding angles. They're equal to each other. The direction specifically asks you to find the measure of the angle indicated in bold, which is 12x minus 6. And so we'll put that up there, 12x minus 6. So 12 x minus 6. Remember that x is 8, so 12 x minus 6. I'll read that as 12. My x turns into a parenthesis, and I'll plug in the number 8, which is 12 times 8 minus 6. And 12 times 8 minus 6 is 90. And since we got 90, that's 90 degrees. So that means this first angle, the 12x minus 6, is a 90 degree angle, but it'll also mean that the second one is 90 degrees, and since it's parallel lines, if we have one 90 degree angle, we have eight actually 90 degree angles, so your answer is 90. Thank you for joining me in the Math Bunker.